Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. China has deployed advanced long range rocket launcher systems near LSE. One of the Chinese artillery brigade is stationed 17000 feet above sea level in Xinjiang military district. It is expected to be a long range rocket launcher that can carry multiple 300 mm or even bigger rockets with more than 100 km of firing range. Over the years, China has developed several rocket systems with different range and different capability and a journey for the same began in late 1990s. In 1997, China received a small number of Soviet Smirch multiple launch rocket artillery system which was the most powerful multi-rocket system of its time. Eventually, China reversed engineer Smirch to develop its own intelligence rocket system which is called A100. The A100 artillery rocket system has 10 launch tubes for 300 mm artillery rockets. It is claimed that A100 has a maximum range of 120 km versus 90 km of improved Russian Smirch. It takes 8 minutes to prepare a launcher vehicle for firing and once rockets are launched it leaves its firing position within 2 minutes. The launcher vehicle is fitted with a satellite navigation system to provide real time positioning data. The system can launch single rocket or full salvo. The A100 has underwent trial by Chinese army. However, PHL03 rocket system was selected which is also a close copy of Smirch. The PHL03 is also a 300 mm rocket with 12 launch tubes and range between 70 to 130 km. It is also being replaced by new version which is PHL16. The Pakistan army has also procured 450 plus Chinese A100 system which is mostly produced in Pakistan under its Space and Upper Atmosphere Research Commission Suparco. The A200 is a Chinese precision guided multiple launch rocket system GMLRS and an upgraded version of A100. It is equipped with strapped down inertial navigation and GPS and adds a front wing to control the flight trajectory. The rocket has a maximum range of 290 km. The Chinese A300 is one of the latest artillery rockets from China and is capable of firing rockets of different caliber which means it can use parts of A200 and possibly other calibers. The A300 rocket system has a maximum range of 290 km and can carry 150 kg of warhead. The rocket uses inertial and GPS guidance system with circular airability between 30 to 45 meters. The launcher vehicle carries two parts with four 300mm rockets each. The launcher is capable of single or salvo firing. It takes 50 seconds to launch a full salvo of eight rockets. China also claims that each rocket can be targeted individually, which means the A300 can hit up to eight different targets simultaneously. The Chinese type PCL191 or PHL16 is the most advanced long-range multiple launch rocket system of China and can be considered as Chinese HIMARS. It is a modular system and can use pods with 370 mm or 300 mm guided rockets. The system can carry two 750 mm Fire Dragon 480 tactical ballistic missiles each with a range of up to 500 km or eight 370 mm rockets each with a range of 350 km. Considering the long range rocket system developed by China, India desperately needs a modular long range rocket systems. On 25th January 2024, The Jains.com has reported that Indian Army has approved the development of advanced rockets for its Pinaka multi-barrel rocket launchers. This information is as per the Jains source at Munition India Limited. The Army has granted official permission to DRDO's subsidiary Armament Research and Development Establishment or ARD to develop two advanced rockets for Pinaka MBRL with a maximum strike range of 120 km and 300 km. Once developed, the MIL will be responsible for the production of these advanced rockets under a transfer of technology agreement with the DRDO. The 120 km rocket will have 
the same 2014 mm caliber rocket like other pinaka rockets and the ard is formulating a preliminary service qualitative requirement that is psqr which specify essential parameters key performance attributes and desirable parameters for later development of any weapon system in the indian procurement to initiate the development of this rocket the psqr is required the rocket which is having a range of 300 km will be most likely based on 300 mm rocket however it is not officially confirmed by drdo as per the 8th august 2024 report from arctic drdo is fabricating pinaka mark 3 rockets the range of this rocket is in excess of 120 km the rocket under fabrication is most likely going to be for trial as the final production variant will be manufactured either by munition india limited or eel which is a subsidiary of solar industries now as per reports by times of india in december 2021 a private firm jsr dynamics is also developing a guided rocket of 324 caliber which is first of its kind the rocket will have range between 250 to 300 km with precision strike capability as it will be a guided rocket system the design of rocket has been completed and its guidance system is expected to be ready soon the firm is in discussion with european company to provide high specific impulse propellant the warhead would be made by jsr the rocket is being designed and developed independently by jsr using its own fund On 15th June, Solar Industries has submitted proposals to manufacture two high-mobility, long-range precision rocket system, Maheswarastra One and Maheswarastra Two, under Make Two category of Make in India initiative. Under the Make Two initiative, the companies have to build prototypes without funding support from government. The Maheswarastra One will be a multi-barrel guided rocket launch system with a range of 150 kilometers and will carry 250 kilogram. of custom design warhead to defeat variety of targets maheswarastra 2 will have a range of 250 km and will carry 375 kg of multi purpose warhead for neutralization of targets both of this system are going to be guided rockets the 250 km range rocket is going to be based on brahmos missile without a seeker the army version of brahmos does not require seeker as most of its target are going to be stationary one like bunkers command center and ammunition depot The cost of Brahmos missile is 40 crore rupees while the new 250 km rocket or missile proposed by Sula Industry is priced at just 8 crore. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.